So, listen up. Lowering your sense, in theory, basically means you're enlarging the heads of your of your enemies. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. You're gonna see some awesome paint skills, all right? Let me see here. All right, follow me, all right? Imagine this is your mouse pad, all right? Then you have your mouse. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. And your buttons, whatever, right? And then here, imagine this is one swipe of your mouse pad, right? One swipe, right? From all the way to one, one to the other side is one swipe. If that do 360 with, for instance, 400 DPI and and uh, 2.8 in sense, right? That means 400 DPI is is basically your dots per inch. That means that you have four times uh, four times two point eight is eight hundred and eleven hundred and what is it eleven hundred and four hundred x. I'm doing this on the fly, so it's going to be a little bit messy. Eleven hundred and twenty, right? If you put eleven hundred and twenty square squares in here. That means that a headshot is somewhere on the size of this square, right? So if you move your mouse up, or more, more, it's more gonna be like down here, right? So you have to hit that square with the laser to hit a headshot, right? So of 1120 squares, that is the headshot square. If this number is halved, right? If this number is only um, 500 and... Uh, math chat 60 right this is 560 that means that this square is twice as big that means that if your mouse hits that square it's still a headshot right are you with me now are you still with me if you lower that number again with something that means that this square gets even lo larger so it basically means that a head if you if you chop that up into squares you have the amount of squares, amount of pixels that you can hit. And the smaller this number is, EDPI, the, the more pixels are in the head, and the less pixels are on your mouse mat, which means that it's a lot more pixels you can hit, which will be a headshot. Make sense? This is your field of view. So depending on your field, you, you, you can have it like a man here, right? And you want to hit this headshot as your crosser. So, I don't know why I did this, but you can like imagine this, right? And the higher sense, the more field of view you have. So if this is left to right on your mouse mat, and this is like 0 0.5 in sense, if you have 3 in sense, your field of view might be this big, right? Left to right on your mouse mat. So if you're going from left to right, this is your field of view. The lower the sense, the smaller your field of view is. How many of the fights do you do in a game? Let's say on an average, 30 fights. 15 deaths, 15, uh, 15 uh, kills. Right? 30 rounds, one kill around, or one death around. Right? So what you want to do is, do you want to put your sensitivity towards the one time during a fight that someone sneaks up behind you because you made a big mistake or a team made a mistake that let the enemy come in behind you and you had to flick behind you. Do you want to tailor your sensitivity to that one fight or the other 29 fights you have that game, which is where your crosshair is? Because you will be pre-aiming most corners and most of the fights you fight at, you're going to be aiming right at the target. It's just small adjustments with your field of view, 
that that is needed, which means that the lower the sense, the better it is because sure, you'll die every time someone comes behind you, but then you just make sure nobody is behind you, right? Either using teammates, using utility, using game sense, whatever. The point is that why would you tailor your sensitivity to that one out of 30 fights instead of the 29? Just a thought. Just a thought.